could be a decent place to fly. Got a nice big clearing. Trees, a little foggy. Might just work. Some big ass trees. Dog fight in the background. After much ado, changing mounts and not working, not getting disco mode, I have disco mode with my center mount. The center mount, not sure how this is going to work, if I'm going to get any of the copter in. We'll see. Action.
thank the Lord that I am still recording. Well, now that the excitement is over, the bums leave. So, anyways, uh, appears as though I've knocked my camera off. Don't know how that's going to affect things. Seem to have got a pretty good flight, though. And, uh... <laughs> so, at Steve Helgeson's Moonstone Guitars with Todd... He's charging up the batteries. Had to replace at least one shaft and gear. And lo and behold, I recognize some major damage there. Not too cool. Not too cool, but from at least a 200 foot up crash, could have been a lot worse. Australian Cubon. Now this is the stuff. Interesting. We are ghetto rigging up. My drone. The Cubon stuff. So that'll just solidify to stone? Yep. Wait, that's gunpowder. Kind of looks like gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. That's even what it says, black powder. Interesting. I got this stuff at Finnegan and Nathan. And it's great for repairing helicopter frames and stuff. Does it become like steel? <laughs> Look at their repairing radiators, hot radiators. Uh huh. <laughs> Water pumps. Yeah. <laughs> Broken uh, mirrors. Cubond, that's what it's called. Yeah, Cubond. Black powder and then a gray powder. For black powders for hard plastics, grills, lugs, bumpers, radiators, distributor caps. Gray powder for metal surfaces, motorcycle fairings, carburetors, aluminum, office equipment, petrol, oil resistant. Mm -hmm. Nice. This stuff was.